Hello everyone, it's Maria here from pebblyrose.blogspot.com.au. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all so much for joining me and today I'm going to make a project. It's a little card um, and it can be used for a friend or to whoever you like. <laughs> um, so I'm using the Your Priceless stamp set which is stunning. I absolutely love it. and the coordinating eclectic layers thinlet dies and um, these coordinate with another um, bundle but this also coordinate with the your priceless and it coord the, there's these two diamond shapes here I'll be using those today and they coordinate with this diamond shape so I'll show you how to use these together I think they're a great great um, set and um, the I'm also be using the everyday label punch this was a carryover item from our last uh, occasion uh, holiday catalog not occasions catalog but it's still a carryover item in our current occasions catalog and you can find it right at the back of your catalog and it's right over there so you can still buy the stamp uh, set labels to love that coordinates with that punch so please do consider um, getting these items because they're fabulous and you can they will be carried over so you can still buy them if you haven't bought them yet they're very versatile um, and of course celebration is still on so if you order any products $90 or more you're able to pick free items a free gift for just placing an order so too easy and you've got beautiful stamp sets card kits DSP and also if you order $180 or more you're able to pick these um, thinlets and this stamp set at the back here for every $180 you spend also there's three or four new um, items and you can check those out on my website at pebblyrose.stampinup.net now today, as I said, I'm going to make this card with you. It's a quick card, but cool. And um, I also wanted to um, show you a beautiful card that I received from my lovely friend Gaynor Boyce in the UK. Um, I had sent her a card and we had did a little swap. Um, and this is the card that she made for me. It's absolutely stunning. And she also sent me these gorgeous gems and uh, they're not stamping up but they are so beautiful that you can use them on any project so I'll keep that in mind in my next project I'll definitely be using them but they're so beautiful and I love this card isn't that gorgeous the silver and the gold do go well together with this and it really brings it out so thank you so much Gaynor and she said on the inside she decorated it beautifully with two strips of that gorgeous painted with love stamp um, DSP so to Maria I hope this card finds you well and I just wanted to say that I really enjoyed doing this card swap with you keep up the good work that you do in all your crafty ways lots of love and huge hugs Gaynor how gorgeous is that so thank you so much Gaynor Mwah absolutely love 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 this card thank you and I'll be cherishing this always thank you so so much it will take pride of place in my card display area at home thank you so we'll get started on this card so what you will need is a piece of basic black cardstock which is um, four inches by eight and I scored it down the middle in advance and I'll just burnish that with you with my bone folder so it ends up being a 4x4 four four card and you can open it this way or this way, whichever way you wish. Just make sure I really stuck that down. So, yeah, so it's 4x8 and scored at 4. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This will layer on the inside of the card and that is 3 and a quarter inches by 3 and a quarter inches um, square. I've got a piece of Whisper White um, scrap cardstock. I've got some silver foil and I've also got some silver glitter paper. All right, so we'll get started on this uh, card. So we'll just um, bring out our card base and um, with this I'm going to stamp it all over and I'm going to heat emboss it in silver but the images I'm using are that one, that one and that one. So I'll just grab a piece of paper just to protect my work surface. Sorry, I didn't bring that earlier. 
I forgot. <laughs> and what we will do is we will rub our embossing buddy over the top of the card base. I know it's black and it's you can see it, but the results are too good not to have it. So just a layer of embossing buddy. Then I'm going to get my Versamark ink pad and I'm just going to ink up my stamps. As you can see, I've just put them all on the one block. So I'm just making my own DSP, so to speak, my own background. I wanted this to look quite dramatic. So we'll just stamp it this way. You can't really see it, but it is there. And even I can't tell where it is. Okay, hopefully they won't. Oh, there it is. Now I can see it. All right, and I'll go this way. Stamp it again with the first mark. And the beauty of these um, photopolymers, you can see very well where you've stamped, <laughs> but it's hard with the black. It's hard to tell where it is, but once I put the silver embossing powder, you will you'll see it nicely. So, oh, where is that? Okay, and then I will do it there. Hopefully, I didn't overlap. Okay, so that's all stamped now. Just put my first mark away. I'll bring over my silver emboss powder. This is a Stampin' Up silver embossing powder. I have it in a um, container because I find it easier for mess. Yeah, better pick that up this way. I don't want to touch where I've um, embossed it, so I just want to make sure. See how cool is that? So I'll just. Um, whoops. So I'll just keep adding on the powder. Okay, so that's all that um, with the powder on. I'll just give it a good flick to make sure I've got everything off. Okay, so what I will do now is I will heat emboss this and I will be back. Okay, so I've just um, finished heat embossing this in silver. So I'll give you a close-up look so you can have a look and see all that silver embossing and it looks fantastic and really dramatic with the black I really love that now um, with my three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of whisper white cardstock I'm going to ink up that same image and I'll just put pop it down here in basic black so I'll just bring that up and I'll just ink up my stamp in in memento tuxedo black ink And I'll just um, just stamp it. Try and get all three, and try not to take up too much room out of my uh, piece of cardstock. So there we go, all done. So that looks fantastic. I'll just give this a quick wipe. Okay, so that's all done. So with this, I will um, just let it dry for a minute. And um, with my sentiment, you, my friend, are priceless. I'm going to stamp that also in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Just give that a quick stamp. Just make sure I wipe around the block there because I don't want that going on my page. And I'll just give this a quick stampies right here. And that stamped absolutely perfectly. So give this a wipe as well. Because knowing me, I will probably make a mess with it. So just as a general rule, that's what I do. And then I'm going to grab my everyday label punch and I'm just going to give this a little punch out. So I'll just, um, you know, center it within that 
there. And punch that out. So you have your sentiment all punched out. That looks great over there too, doesn't it? All right, so I'll just grab my fast fuse and I'm going to give this a quick addition to my card. So I'll just pop that on here. Okay, so the inside of the card is now done and that's the outside. I really love how dramatic that looks. I'm going to pop this here and I'm going to do some die cutting. So I'll just bring out my eclectic layers thinlets dies and we have this image over here and then we have this one over here. That's this die. So this will cut out a more intricate um, pattern and that's the more plain. So I'll just bring up my big shot and today I'll be using the platform with the thin die adapter. Pop that on here and um, I'm actually going to try a trick that I used to use with my cuttle bug and um, this was years before I joined Stampin' Up! And I'm going to place this over the top of the die and having it facing up and apparently you don't warp your um, plates as much so I'm going to give it a whirl see if it works actually I can't so I'll just do it this way <laughs> I can't I have to see what I'm doing I'll do it this oops I'll do that this way and that's on one part of the platform and then I'll do this one over here try and, and not use as much um, try and be frugal with my um, with my cardstock and things just so that I can ensure I have plenty on hand so just use up as little as I can if that makes sense all right so I'll just pass that through and then I will go back again especially for my more intricate cut there. Okay. I apologise for moving the table so much. There we go. And they have been cut, so I'll just pop this away. So there's that one with silver foil and the more intricate one. Oh yes, it only cuts out the, the little bit there and then you have to go over the top again with this. But I forgot about that. I didn't leave myself enough room. Or did I? No, I'm going to have to do this again, but I'm going to... Okay, now I get it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used it actually. So... What you do is you cut out this bit first, the intricate, then you put this on top and they layer on top of each other so that you can cut that out. Otherwise it just cuts just this bit out and that's it. If that makes sense, I'll show you. Sorry. So, I'll put this through again. And I'll run through it twice. So you go, oops, one. And then two. So you leave the die in there. You leave, um, sorry, you leave those parts on if it falls, it stays there. Then you, you um, put this other piece on top, the flat, the, um, the blank piece, sort of, so to speak, on top of that one, layer it on top nicely. And it is evenly as possible. Turn this around because it's warped really funny. So I just um, I'll just get a piece of washi tape. Just give me a second. Just grab some washi tape. Oh, 
where did I put it now? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't find my washing tape. I'll just bring my magnetic platform, I think, and that will be better. Sorry. I'll just swap over to my magnetic platform just to make sure, because I want to make sure I get it right. So. So I've got my magnetic platform and my cutting, uh, my cutting plate. That's better. Now I'll put this on top and just make sure that it's kind of in the middle of those cuts. Right? So it cuts like a border around it. That's what I tried to say. Now, we'll put this through. And I'll just run it through twice to make sure that it cut. And... There we go, it has cut through. Okay, so. Get rid of that. Just put my chair in. And now we just punch out all of those little pieces. You can do that from the back if you wish, or the front, whatever works. So, they come off pretty easily. So they'll just come off because the glimmer paper has like a backing on it. So, yeah. Oh, that didn't cut that bit very well, but you'll see what I mean. There we go. I cut it a bit thin, but it doesn't matter, okay? I'll just stick that on. So imagine that that's cut out well. All right. So now I've got my piece of um, silver foil underneath. So I'll just grab my tweezers and I'll just stick that down. I didn't, it, it kind of moved when I put it through the big shot, but it doesn't matter. All right, so I'll just put my glue. You can use your Tombow, or you can run this through the, um, with the adhesive sheets. They also work very well, but I'm just going to use my glue because it's just easy and it's here. Okay. So now I'll just um, put that on top. And just let that sit there for a minute. Just angle it well. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Isn't that cool? I love that. So it looks like a diamond. Well, that's the shape it cuts. Now I moved it. <laughs> Hang on, let's just give it a good press down on the table. I think that works better. Okay, so that's how that looks. So we'll bring our card. So we've got our card base now embossed in silver, which looks fantastic and dramatic. I love that. We've got the You, My Friend, Are Priceless. And then I'm going to stick this diamond. I just want it to actually stick on the, the foil. So it takes a little while because it's foil. But I'm going to stick that like that. How cool is that? So I'm going to um, adhere this down here, just flat. So make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. And then I'm going to add dimensionals on that diamond or that gem. And I'll just grab some dimensionals. And you just need three. Oops. Everything's sticking on everywhere. Okay, so just take off the backings. Now I'm going to stick my gorgeous diamond shape like so. 
make sure I angle it so you can see. Oops, now everything came off. <laughs> okay, there we go. I just wanted a little bit away from the U so you can see the U better and give that a good press down. Okay. And there you have it, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is a great card for a friend uh, to show them appreciation for being your friend or just, just to you know, show appreciation. I love this card. I love it. And it's really dramatic. And on the inside, it's decorated like that. So I hope you like this card. I'll just give you a nice close-up with the embossing and everything. I think it looks wonderful. I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. Thank you. So I've got some glue there, but that will come off later on. I'll just start wipe that off. But there you go. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. If you'd like to purchase any of the products featured today, you may do so at pepperlyrose.stampinup.net. This is the stamp set called Your Priceless. And the matching framelits, which also coordinate with the, um, I think it's called oh so eclectic art stamp set um, if it's incorrect i'll put the correct name um, you know during the description down here so there we go guys thank you so much for watching my video today i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you again very very soon bye